Hey, welcome to the channel. Today, uh, I'm looking at kind of pulling up some grass out of this uh, parking area. The trailer that is next to me here is going to be moved out here in a week or two. And there's going to be a lot of trucks and traffic up here on the parking area. And the area has kind of been consumed by grass in several places. So I'm going to be attempting to use this box blade with the... Um, the blade kind of crank, cranked back and uh, the spikes down to see if I can uh, go ahead and uh, pull some of the grass and greenery out of the gravel. And I'm not a pro at this. I have been playing with the box blade a little bit. This is a, a Woods box blade 65 inch. And I've been pretty impressed with its ability on the, the area that just needs to have gravel spread. But when it comes to pulling up vegetation and kind of getting it out of the gravel, I haven't done much of that. So we'll see how that goes. Seems like it's working. Uh, I think there's a fine line between dragging the gravel and dragging the vegetation. You can see the little pile that I have over there, but it kind of seems like if I can get a lot of this grass out of out of the uh, driveway, then I'll be able to kind of uh, spread that gravel around again with the box blade down. Right now I have the box blade as far as the blade in the back tilted back and then uh, the spikes and I know spikes isn't the right word but in any case um, the uh, forks or tongs or whatever those things are uh, that are pulling the vegetation up I have those kind of uh, down a little deeper uh, even though they're on the top setting I don't want to get too deep so I'm going to keep stabbing away at it and see how it goes. All right, so I got most of the vegetation out of there. Of course, I got kind of a mess over here with the gravel piles. So now the trick will be respreading the gravel and hopefully getting some of the vegetation out of it. We'll see how that goes. Well, I actually decided it would be best to try to uh, grab a little bit more of this vegetation in here before I readjust the box blade and um, pull the teeth up and whatnot. And because I'm going to need the box blade and kind of it's a level form in order to spread it back out. So I think it'd be better to try to pull more of the vegetation out, kind of pile it up and then work through there. 
So I'm gonna try to grab more of this right now. Well, I think I made a dent in the vegetation. I'm not sure. I probably pulled up half of it and went over half of it, pulling gravel over it. But I'm gonna uh, adjust the um, box blade now and try to level this out and then um, take another stab at it another day. But I think it, with some practice, I could get pretty good at it. It'll take some time. So I'm really digging this uh, box blade. It's a uh, Woods, like I told you, BSS 65P. And I've um, been super happy with it, just moving gravel around on the driveway. Like I said earlier, what I'm doing today, I haven't done before. Um, but it definitely um, dug down in there without getting too crazy. I'm gonna uh, flip these, I called them teeth and some other things earlier, they're actually called shanks. So I'm gonna flip them over. Uh, just like I did this one. It just takes a couple minutes and then um, spread this gravel around real quick. And then I got another spot on the driveway that I want to try to fix. But uh, this baby's super heavy, easy to use. And as far as the spreading gravel part, it's uh, being amateur week, it wasn't, it wasn't that hard for me to try to get it level and, and figure it out after watching a few other people do it. Uh, this part is a little more, more tricky. Um, but we'll get it out. We'll figure it out.
Well, hopefully it looks perfectly level on camera. Uh, it's not, but, you know, we're getting there. And it's definitely uh, less of a garden and more of a driveway than it was when we started. All right, so we're off to the uh, second section of the driveway that I wanted to fix. The one that I fixed or worked on up above, maybe not totally fixed, but got better, is um, up the top of the hill. What we're going to be looking at now is the actual, probably the steepest part of the driveway. And it's just kind of gotten to the point where it's uh, pretty solid and uh, doesn't really absorb any water and uh, can get pretty, I don't know, muddy or whatnot when it gets wet. So I'm hoping to just pull some of the gravel that's already on here because I've put a few loads over the last year around the place and so hopefully I can pull some of that gravel up back to the top and make it a little more like a gravel driveway. We'll see what happens. So here's half and half. I just came down the hill, first rake down the hill uh, with the shanks in their highest position. Really wasn't gra uh, dragging much gravel, so mostly just doing a little bit of a rip. You can see the difference um, on the one side. It's it's still pretty slick, and there's not a lot of pulled up gravel. And on the other side, it just kind of kind of rolls it up and rakes up the gravel and kind of brings it back to the surface breaks up those solid spots so that's kind of what we're shooting for and I think you have to plan on doing it pretty regular but rather than just throwing more gravel on it and letting it get spit out the sides I think this is a better approach <laughs> 